everyone and welcome to Pete and Vinny Play. So today we have a very special video for you. Basically, we've been invited to play in our favorite guitar store. And that guitar store is Guitar Guitar. Right here in Camden. So this is our favorite guitar shop in London. So we always come down to get gear, anything we need. And they're basically relaunching the whole shop, revamping the shop, relaunching the brand. And we've been invited to play this weekend. That's right, guys. So we're going to show the place around as well. Hopefully do some shredding. Hope you guys enjoy. Five Grand Taylor. That's how good it plays. Yeah. Man, it's, it really is a work of art, isn't it? Like, if you look at the, the inlays and everything, all of that, you know, the tuning packs are so stylish. Look at that. Yeah, it's like that vintage gold yeah. look. You know? Check out the grain on the neck here. You know? Yeah. And even, look how nice and well made the jack is. That's how you know there's quality on a guitar, yeah. the jack is well made. Look at that, it's seamless, man. It's beautiful guitar. So here is a five grand Martin. Now let us know in the comments if you can hear any tone differences between the five grand Taylor that Vinny just played and the five grand Martin here. The ultimate, two ultimate acoustic brands. Let's see. Wow. That projects like... You know, it's funny, like, obviously the open chords are more resonant, but even, even those chords, like... Very nice. Ewan, so what's your favorite guitar in here? So that's quite a hard question to answer, but I would have to say probably an Atkin guitar. So they're handmade in Canterbury and Kent. Um, let me show you, yeah. if you follow me. So it's this oh, one wow. here, look how beautiful that is. Wow. So it's a J43 Someone custom like a go, gold. Uh, go top yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah, and look at the checking there. So Atkin, do the checking on their guitars and the aging so nice and subtly. Um, and wow. then you've got the qu quilted oh, pommel oh, wow. on the back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at that. Yeah, there's a quilt at the back, that's amazing. Stunning. Wow. But this just sounds phenomenal. If you like J45 style guitars, yeah. this one is a that's beauty. The one. It's a workhorse. All right, thanks very much, man. <laughs> thanks, guys. Cheers. 
So Sarah, can you show us your favourite uh, guitar in here, please? Um, my favourite guitar just came in yesterday. All right. <laughs> it is this wonderful concert grand with a classical wow. headstock. Oh, Absolutely stunning. You rarely see these wooden colour inlays on a tailor as well. Yeah. But also, if you take it into direct here. You see how the back oh, sort of shimmers. It's not not yeah, metal yeah. or shimmery. <laughs> wow. It's just the wood, oh, but beautiful. it just changes. Look yeah, at the yeah, grain yeah, on that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Absolutely stunning. Double binded as well, and red binding at that. All right, so there's All, a red binding here. Yeah. That's amazing. Can you grab that. Ah. Look at that. That's amazing. You certainly uh, topped the price so far for what we've seen. Yeah, you know? I'm, I would love to buy it and I'm really in love with it, but maybe I have to save up for it. <laughs> Hopefully, yeah. Well, thanks very much, Sarah. No worries. Yeah, yeah. All right, guys, so this is Pat, one of our main guys here in the shop. And I have a question for you, man. What's your favorite piece of gear in the whole shop? Um. There, there's so much cool stuff. Um, I'll show you what something that I have. So I've got one of these. So this is a Sir Alt T. Um, really cool color as well. That's lovely. Um, the cool thing about these, you know, it looks like really kind of vintage vibe. Yeah. And um, it's got stainless steel frets. It's got a compound radius. So you know, it's really easy to play. They're plecked. I mean, they only use quarter sawn maple, so it's just okay. really stable. They feel just kind of, they almost play themselves, you know. Yeah. It's just a really kind of versatile. Semi hollow as well. Yeah, okay. semi hollow as well, so it's a bit lighter. And they're, yeah. just, they're just really well made, so yeah, that okay. would be my pick. Thanks very much, yeah. no worries. All right, guys, so we're here with Luke. Hello. Guys on Guitar Guitar. So, Luke, what is your favorite piece of gear in the store? Easy. And can you tell us about it a bit? Easy. All right. No worries at all. <laughs> Uh, we've got the new Bogner Ecstasy 35-34 head. Uh, right. It's awesome. It's you know for all like you know when you've done like the thing, you've bought the Kemper, you know you've given up on life. Yeah. <laughs> There's, you you've know, given you, into the digital. You don't know, age. Yeah, you don't know where you're doing. You yeah. wake up, you're unhappy at night. Yeah. You know, the, the, all that stuff. Yeah, you're not sure about yourself. Yeah. yeah, we can fix that. Yeah, so it's a thing called a valve amp, right? They, oh, they, yeah. I don't think I've ever heard of that. I don't that. know if you've ever heard of them. Yeah, it sounds very organic. Yeah, oh yeah, you, you basically you turn it up full yeah. on all the knobs and it makes your trousers flat yeah. um, and you'll be more fun at parties and more attractive so yeah it's uh, that's my favorite bit again yeah. all right guys we're here with patch one of the guys at guitar guitar so patch tell us what is your favorite piece of gear in the shop and can you show it to us Yes, yes, so it is a pre-owned uh, American original Jazzmaster, 1960s uh, original. It's actually just over here. Beautiful, beautiful ice metallic blue, wow. the tortoiseshell pit guards. Yeah, no, I, uh, I love a Jazzmaster, man. It's, a, it's one of my main guitars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, some of them have the matching headstock as well. This one doesn't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so you've got vintage voice, uh, sort of 60s voice pickups in here. They're essentially single coils, Yeah. Um, but they're wound really thin and really wide. Okay. Um, so they give a bit more mid-range, almost like a P90, but slightly brighter. So when, when these came out, they were designed for jazz players. Yeah, yeah. Um, they were trying to rival Gibson oh, right. yeah, yeah. sort of L-series yeah, yeah. guitars, but they, they wanted like a comfortable guitar. I love the tremolo yeah. system on this. The tremolo system as well, <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's, it's a raw, it's an interesting one. Yeah, yeah, it yeah, sounds yeah. completely different to yeah, a Strat, it's really cool. Um, nice choice of gear. Yeah, nice. Thing, man. Thanks a lot, yeah. Pedge. No worries, guys. Adam, quick question. Of course. What's your favorite bit of gear in the whole shop? Right, well, that would have to be... Oh, why am I not oh. surprised? <laughs> Jumped out of Can I just say, we've store. been drooling at this guitar since we got here this yeah, morning. It's awesome. Literally. Absolutely awesome. It's signed and everything by Paul Reed Smith. Oh, wow. Himself. We didn't yeah. like that. Yeah. Yeah. Paul Reed's signature himself. Yeah. yeah, the date as well, 2010. All of the older private stocks, they get signed in quality checks and stuff like that. So, absolutely gorgeous custom 24, 2010 private stock, quilted tent top. finish as well. It's amazing. That's wicked, man. Love it though. Cool. Cool. Thanks, yeah. Adam. No problem. <laughs> Alright, guys, so now we're here with Alfie, Guitar Guitar. Alfie, can you tell us about your favorite piece of gear in the shop? And Let's do it. A little, little uh, showcase. Over here. All right, okay. Good direction to walk. Oh, it's a tough one, though. <laughs> 63, 
junior reissue. Probably. Wow. Doggy right. P90. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tone volume. It's an SG. What more? What more do you need? What more do Classic. you need? Classic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One pickup. So That's cool. amazing. Just one doggy a P90. Nice. But then I love a V. I love this V. <laughs> Would you go for a black or white pickguard though? Black. 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 Okay. Yeah. It's got a both of them. Yeah, yeah. I should yeah. do for. for that yeah, 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 yeah. All right. <laughs> well, thanks, Alvin. No worries. Yeah. Now guys, here we have one of my dream guitars, I'm sure many of you would agree, PRS Custom 24. I'm drooling over this thing. Gold hardware, quilted top, ebony wow, board, unbelievable man. Quilt man. Yeah. So let's hear how it sounds. Check it out guys, I've always wanted to play this guitar. Mateo's a Sato signature. Oh, so. look, it says a silhouette on it. Yeah, man. I actually know that. Yeah. That's so cool. <laughs> look at that neck, man. Roasted maple. Yeah. So lovely. Quite expensive these days, but you know. I think it's got luck. So classy, yeah, right? So this nice. is it, man. It's very hard to beat black and gold, and it? it's yeah. like. And then look at the pickups as well, like the gloss pickguard yeah. as well, and then yeah, unbelievable. This blade, so nice. do you know, like up to un until now, I never knew that um, this guitar had a pickguard, because because yeah. it blends it so nice with the black, yeah. you know. Actually, so behind the camera, I can't even tell. Yeah. And the other thing as well, I have to say, the neck is a lot uh, thicker than I than I thought, you know. Like yeah. I've always thought it was gonna be like a. More of a fast type of neck, like you know. Yeah, it's okay. It's like. It's cool. Like it's not super super thick, but yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought it was gonna be a bit thinner. I love it, man. It's amazing. It sounds great as well. Yeah, All right, Acoustic Sonic. First time trying one. <laughs> <laughs> Not as loud as a, a normal, yeah, normal I mean, acoustic. It's weird to me to see the Fender headstock and a, and a sound hole. It's like I can definitely see. Yes, it is though. You can yeah. record some electric and take it to the park as well.
All right, guys, so we're here with Bobby, one of the main guys in Guitar Guitar. Bobby, I just wanted to ask you, what does this tour mean for Camden? Well, what we hope it means and can continue to mean is it can be a great hub for musicians, whether they're just starting their musical journey, they've just started playing the guitar, they're just starting to learn about what music can do for their life, yeah. or whether they're much more advanced, they're playing live, they're playing professionally, maybe they will get a lot of music students. So we hope that it can appeal to really all of these groups and that we can really be the one-stop shop that supports the local musical community really, really well. That's wicked, man. It's amazing. Goal. The relaunch as well looks amazing. Yeah. It's pretty cool. It looks amazing in there. You know, this has been our favorite uh, guitar store Good. since a long time ago. You know, that's it really has to, get, to be fair. Yeah, yeah, to get things. Good. So it means a lot to us that you guys had a stay, produced shreds, yeah. you know? Yeah, let's hope it that was stays great. open for like the next 50, 60 years, whatever, yeah. forever, you yeah. know? Yeah. Thank, thank you guys for coming along and getting involved. And I think it was quite cool this weekend that we did some some things that are a little bit different, not just for us, but for like a guitar store in general and having you guys come along and playing outside and having a bit of a spectacle, along with some of the other things that we've yeah. done. It's really, really good. And to see a great response from the customers and everything, fantastic. Cool, man. Love cool. it. Thanks yeah. a lot. <laughs> All right, guys, that's it from us. We hope you enjoyed the video. Honestly, we want to say a huge thanks to the Guitar yes. Guitar guys. It was so nice of them to have us in this very, very special day. Now, we had a great time. We ended up setting up and playing outside, which is crazy. We made a lot of noise, you know. It's a really lovely experience. It was really nice, yeah. And just the fact that we got to play on the streets of Camden out super loud was an experience in and of itself. And uh, we had a little crowd gather to watch us. And we even had one resident threaten to call the police, which is good because which if is you don't, then it means you're not playing loud enough. <laughs> so that was amazing. It was nice talking to the staff here. We're very grateful for them to having us. And as usual, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to our channel. Give us a like, comment, thumbs up. It really helps us out. So until next time, see ya. Yeah.